Here we're asked to find the equation of the line that meets the given criteria. So let's take a look at each example. In the first example, we are provided with a slope and an ordered pair. Remember that our equation that we are working with for the line is y equals mx plus b. So my slope, if I'm given that information, that's just going to replace the m in this formula. If I'm given an ordered pair that has 0 as the first coordinate, then the y value is the vertical intercept. So that's going to just replace the b value. So for the information I'm given here, my equation is y equals negative 4x plus 3. If I want to write that in function notation, I can write f of x equals negative 4x plus 3. So pay attention closely, to especially to the ordered pairs that you're given, because if one of them has 0 as the first coordinate, then that second coordinate is your b value. For part b, I'm given two ordered pairs. So what I don't know here that I did know in part a is the slope which means I need to find my slope using the ordered pairs that I am given. So I'm going to take my y2 minus my y1, which is 5 minus negative 2, divided by my x2 minus my x1, 1 minus 0. That's going to give me 5 plus 2 over 1, which is 7 over 1, or 7. So I know that my slope is 7. But I also know that one of my ordered pairs is 0, negative 2. And as we saw in part A, if I have 0 as my input for one of my ordered pairs, the output is the b value. So I can write my equation here, y equals 7x Technically, it would be plus negative 2, because that's y equals mx plus b form. So I can write that as y equals 7x minus 2. And if I use function notation, that would be f of x equals 7x minus 2. For part c, I want to write the equation of the line that's passing through these two ordered pairs. Again, I must find my slope, negative 9 minus negative 3 over 4 minus negative 2, which is negative 9 plus 3 over 4 plus 2, which is negative 6 over 6, or negative 1. My slope is negative 1, however, neither of these ordered pairs has 0 as the first coordinate. So neither of these is the vertical intercept. I must find the vertical intercept. So all I know right now is that y equals negative 1 x plus b. So I'm going to use the ordered pair negative 2, negative 3, and I'm going to substitute that into this equation here, and then I'm going to solve for b. So I'm going to replace y with negative 3. There's my slope. I'm going to replace x with negative 2 plus b. So I get negative 3 equals 2 plus b. If I subtract 2 from both sides, I get negative 5 equals b. So here's my b value. I know my slope as negative 1, so now I can write my equation y equals negative 1x plus negative 5 or y equals negative x minus 5. And finally, function notation, f of x equals negative x minus 5.